guys, Robert Murphy from Holistic Healing Choices here. And today we're having a look at the app, Kuba. So, Kuba is, like Blinkist and 12 minutes before it, an app that shortens books right down to give you all the nice little juicy details, the important parts. But there is one striking difference that these guys do pretty well. They gather books of similar topics and genres and put them into a course. Now, what does that course entail? It entails you listening to the audiobook and taking a small quiz. But it is a nice little addition. So, without further ado, let's actually have a look at the app itself. So, here we open up Kuva and we're presented with our little homepage. So, they have their staff pick up the top, personal selection just for you. Now, you notice too that these aren't the real covers for these books. These are just little quick drawings that they've made for these. So here's one that I've got in progress that I'm currently reading. So if you go in and you get standard pages. So you can have smaller text, you can have bigger text, you can make a dark mode, you can download the audio for it, and you can go through to the different pages. Yeah, you just move left or right to go through the different pages and then back you can see that that's downloading now so you can go further you can buy the book which will take you to an Amazon link or you can comment on the book so here for discover we just go straight to that page as well of that one now these are the ones that are all just added to it and there is quite a selection so today's top five cubes now these are ones if you want them there you can skip or keep so pretty much a tinder of books your weekly trends so if you want a side hustle maybe you should talk to someone all different sorts and then you've got your most read so these are what people are reading the most so you can explore different categories here. So let's go to psychology for instance. We've got what we've got in the psychology. And they managed to spell that wrong up the top there. Productivity, which is a very popular one. And courses. So here's something a bit unique for Kuba. So you reach your life goals thanks to the training, test and consolidate your skills, track your daily progress, and unlock Kuba certification. Now I've done this one, Adopt Good Habits course, which is six steps, recommend one step per day. Now if I continue on that one, you can see I've got these. So what this does is gives you a little Kube or a little book to read, the summary, and then you get a quiz as well. Now you can try again, so they're just basic questions that you get wrong or right, like so, and then you pass the test. Now this one has six steps to go through, so six little books and six little tests to do before you get your certification. Now there are courses on a few different bits and pieces. So health and fitness has a few. Make some friends, financial independence, politics and environment. Now something that I absolutely love in this actually, I think it's great that you've got things that are all together. So let's go to making some friends. Let's have a look. That's a four step program. So you'll see what book you get and what quiz, or that you will have a quiz. Never eat alone, how to win friends and influence people. How to build confidence and spark it in and whatever the rest of that book title is. So I think this is a really cool sort of thing that this one does. But let's go back to our invisible city. It's a great introduction to the wonders of urban design, bursting with fun facts, fascinating figures, and neat slices of history that will make you go, really? Are you ready to explore the concrete jungle? Let's go. So you get a brief introduction to your coup from most of them. Now down here you can change your speed, which is really handy. 
you've got plus 15 seconds or minus 15 seconds and then you can skip the chapters as well from there and you can click straight from there to read if you want and then in the myspace bit you've got everything that you've been doing you can go to the filters so the cube or the course the progress rod and how you're looking at it so whether it's recent or not and you can have a look at your downloaded books as well now in your settings you've got your account your username what your subscription status is what notifications you get so this one does put it into a habit as well so at 10 a 10 p.m sorry it sends me a book recommendation or gives me a reminder that I should be reading a book or listening to a book now you can suggest a coup to them which I like because they do have little bits on TED Talks and stuff as well, so mini cubes. You can auto delete those, you can get rid of all the books that you've downloaded, what language you want it, goals. So, what goals you want? Do you want better relationships or general culture or careers? Everything like that. Then you've got your help centers. So, your general terms, you can contact the support team and go to a help center. In case you're having any issues with the app but it is a very easy very clear to use app so that is Kuba now it's a nicely designed app I found it very very easy to navigate you can go straight to the courses do the courses now I did like the courses some of the questions were very very easy and very you didn't really need to pay attention to the book to be able to get through it but it's a nice addition and so if you're listening to it or doing as it says one module a day you're getting that module a little bit of time to digest it do the little quiz make sure you understand it and then you get the next module so something similar some similar ideas in a different way that works very very well in being able to Put it all into one little bit you get a little certificate at the end which i mean obviously means nothing in the real world but i thought it was a brand spanking new idea that i haven't seen in any of the other apps so i really appreciated that grouping these books together so you're getting a bit of a progression with those things all of the audios in the app seem to be very high quality as well they've got little bits of music on there for the intro and in between chapters so you know where you're at you know as a new chapter is coming to an end that chapter is coming to an end or a new chapter is beginning so it gives you that little audio cue as well which i thought was nice and also too on the pages you got nice little chapters to read through and flick across to it all seems very very well produced now, one of the drawbacks from it being a newer app is that the library is pretty small at the moment, but it is growing by the look of it and they're adding new content all the time. They're even adding little TEDx talks in there as well, breaking them down into little five minute speeches or little summaries. So I think it's a fantastic idea to have that as well in there and to be able to offer that to people as well in this way. Obviously, with a bit of copyright thing, they can't actually show the real cover for whatever reason. But who the hell cares? You're getting the important juicy parts out of that book in a 20 minute summary. So I really don't care not being able to look at the original cover for the book. So for the app itself, you're looking at a yearly price of $109.99 or $110. Or you can pay about $12 11.99 a month for the app now putting that up against say audible about a similar amount $15 a month and that gives me one free audiobook now this allows you to look at all of these little cubes what they call them instant access for that for free now I can't remember what Blinkist or 12 minute charge for their premium memberships but I think that's pretty decent value and especially once they bulk up that library a little bit more, you'll have access to a whole range of things, a whole range of information right at your fingertips. 
and you'll be able to go through all their little courses and do all those as well. So, for this app at its current state with the amount of content on it, I quite happily give Kuba a 7. I think it's a well designed little app. Everything is easy to navigate. You can easily go to what you want, when you want it, easily. Downloads seem a little bit big for what you're getting, but they are high quality audios as well that you're getting on there as well. So I'm very happy to easily give this one a 7. It is a little bit pricey, but I think in the long run, if it keeps that price point as well, you'll get what you pay for. But anyway guys, that has been a little bit of a look at Kuba. What are your thoughts on the app? What are your thoughts in general on these summary apps? These apps that take all these books and summarize them down into little bite-sized pieces. Do you think they miss the main intention of some of the longer books? Or are they perfect for you? Because we're all getting busier. Even just finding the time for myself in some times, so the 20-minute books was hard. So I appreciate being able to just digest little bits and pieces at that point in time. Inspire some new ideas and you can go on and you don't have to do the courses that are all similar sort of things. You can have a book about self-help, have a book about finance, have a book about ancient cities or whatever the hell else is on there that you want. It's all up to you. It's all at your fingertips, these sort of apps, which is what I appreciate with them. But anyway guys, enough rambling from me. Like, share, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I'm Rob Murphy, and I'll see you in the next video.